Hey Marvel fans, this is Ben Morse from Marvel.com. I'm here with Greg Pak, the architect of Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, and now you have unleashed on the world incredible Hercules. What have you got planned now that the World War Hulk is over? What do you got planned for Hercules and Amadeus Cho, his erstwhile uh, sidekick? Well, during World War Hulk, in the Incredible Hulk book, Hercules and Amadeus were two of the heroes who are crazy enough to actually think about taking the Hulk side during World War Hulk. After World War Hulk ends, they're the two guys who are crazy enough to keep on running. So S.H.I.E.L.D. Is, uh, has, has pulled everybody else in and given them pardons or whatever for the good work they did, but Amadeus Cho and Herc said, mm, see you suckers, and they are, uh, they are on the run. It's a totally fun book. It's a buddy book with the world's most incorrigible Greek god and the world's most dangerous teenage genius and it's the brains and the brawn in a typical buddy story you've got one guy who's like the moderating influence and one guy who's the crazy guy uh, in this particular story we've got two crazy guys and wherever they go sort of trouble explodes exponentially because uh, both of them are kind of egging each other on and in, in the in the right ways and the wrong ways at different times now after over a uh, over a year of writing Hulk writing him on a different planet writing him back on earth getting really into the character what's it like to kind of switch gears entirely have a whole new lead character well i've been working with these characters for over well for almost a year during the course of, of the world war hulk story because when they were major supporting characters but what's awesome about it is that you know the big hulk themes are still in the book i mean and we're just able to play with them with a kind of slightly different tone he was hulk you know 3,000 years ago. He's been, he's been the Hulk for millennia. He was the big strong guy with the anger management issue who was more than human and struggled with the question of, is, is Herc a god or a man? You know, with Hulk, is, is he a monster or a man? And the same questions apply. You know, we're looking at Herc. His heart is always in the right place. He always goes with his gut, and he always makes the wrong decision with his gut. But that lets us play with these themes of the responsibilities of somebody who has immense power and limited ability to control it. Now, coming up, how are, uh, how are Herc and Amadeus, they're on the run, so are they going to interact with the rest of the Marvel Universe. There you've seen from covers, they're definitely going to run into Ares, some of the Mighty Avengers. I mean, on the cover of the first issue, it says, you know, Incredible Herc against the world. And so that's kind of the way this is. This is, uh, these guys are basically in opposition to everybody. Well, thank you very much for your time, Greg. Not Incredible Hercules, they on sale now. Keep your eyes peeled to Marvel.com as we'll be talking with Greg more in the weeks and months to come about some of his other projects. But until then, keep it real, Marvel. Marvel, your universe.